the sofa. And today I am going to show you around my mini zoo. But before we get started, please note that everything I've used here is recyclable because I am trying to promote recycling. So welcome to my mini zoo. And based on what I have learned, I'd put in some terrestrial, aquatic and aerial animals. Then I put in some terrestrial and aquatic plants. So let's go in further with the terrestrial animals. So over here, I've got some pandas. And further on, I've got a tiger. Now these two are in cages because they are dangerous to humans. Now at the very back there, I've got two little gazelles and a zebra. Now these two are not in cages because they are not dangerous to humans. They love to run free and also a little shy. Now let's talk about the aerial animals. Now aerial animals are animals that can fly like birds. So these are the birds I've put in in this big tree. And you might be wondering, what is that white thing up there? Well, that is actually, sorry to say, that is the egg. And it's quite big because I used um, a top of the spoon to make this egg. So, sorry if this makes you feel uncomfortable. Now, let's look at this lonely aquatic animal so this aquatic animal i've put in as you can see is a crocodile and now it's just chilling out in a little so-called lake now we're going to move on to the terrestrial plants now here in the panda's cage we've got some bamboo now, you might be wondering, why are there only plants in a panda's cage? Well, pandas are herbivores. They do not eat meat, but instead eat plants. And then I also got a few patches of grass and this big, big tree with a big, big egg in it. There you go. Those are some of the terrestrial plants. Now, we are moving on to the aquatic plants. Now, if you don't know, there are three different types of aquatic plants. Free-floating, submergent, and emergent. Now, I chose emergent and floating aquatic plants. So, the emergent aquatic plants are the cattail here. And the free floating are the lily pads there. So those are the aquatic plants. The animals inside my mini zoo are herbivores and carnivores. Now I am going to tell you what most of the elements are made out of. So for the base, I used a cardboard box. And this arch here was made out of packing material. Then I painted it. Same with the base. Now this gate here, that fence all the way down there, and this fence there was all made out of plastic clear foam with yellow art paper. Now I mustn't forget to mention that this big sign here that says zoo was also made out of art paper. Now inside my mini zoo 
these two cages here with the panda and the tiger inside. The cages were made out of clear plastic foam and then we used a permanent marker to make it look like it was a cage. And then here, this is the mini lake or the pond. So around here we used a plastic egg container. Then the shiny thing here is called foil from one of my cereal boxes. The cat tail we used also packing material. The lily pads are made out of paper. And the blue is also made out of art paper. So the base of the cat tail was packing material. Then the cat tail itself was made out of art paper, a cotton swab, and yarn. Well, that's it. But before you go, let me give you a second tour of my mini zoo. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and I also hope this gave you inspiration. Bye bye.